Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 9th of 2020. Well, it is titled in green company Aurora over Norway. So what do we see here? Well, this is a very uh, inventive picture. Uh, you can see the uh, person standing on the top of the mountain stretching out and reaching out towards the green sky in the background. Now, why would the sky be green? And that is an example of the Aurora. Now the Aurora are caused when charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field charged particles will follow along the magnetic field lines and will strike the Earth where the magnetic field comes into the Earth's atmosphere. So that is close to the Earth's north and south magnetic poles. And these are at very high and very uh, low latitudes. So very high latitudes close to the North Pole and alternatively close to the South Pole is primarily where we see the Aurora. When those particles strike oxygen atoms in the Earth's atmosphere, they cause it to glow. And oxygen glows in the green when it is excited. It gives off a prominent green line, which is what we see here. And if we watched it over time, you would see it shimmering and changing as more particles continue to strike the atmosphere and contribute to the glow. Now one thing we can notice is that these differ from the clouds. Some of the darker blobs within this are actually clouds and they block out the starlight from behind them. However, the aurora does not. The aurora is just a glowing of the gas. So while it can be hard to see a very faint star through it, you can look through the aurora and actually pick out stars right through the aurora because it is only a glowing of the atmosphere. It is not actually blocking anything out directly. Now Aurora are actually relatively rare right now. So we're not seeing a whole lot of uh, Aurora at this point. This image was actually taken six years ago when the sun was closer to a maximum and having a lot of a lot of solar activity. The more activity, the more particles streaming towards the Earth and the more likely we are to see the Aurora. So over the coming years, since we've just passed the minimum, these activity will pick up and we would be likely to see far more Aurora like this, especially if you're in very northerly areas. This was taken in the northern part of Norway near some of the fjords up in the northern parts of that country. So the further south you are, the harder it is to see the Aurora as it takes a far more intense storm to deform the Earth's magnetic field enough to give us an aurora at the lower latitudes. So that was our picture of the day for November the 9th of 2020. It was titled In Green Company, the Aurora over Norway. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.